MAC Women's Basketball Tournament. BG looking for its first MAC title in 10 years. First quarter, Katie Hempley knocks down the three from the corner, but BG would go cold from beyond the arc after that. Just four of 17 as a team for the game. Later in the first, Falcons down three. Hempley drives, gets the contact and the foul. Free throw ties the game 13 13. Junior with 15 to lead the Falcons, but BG would trail 10 at half. Third quarter, come back. Hempling going behind the back dishes to Alyssa Brett for the lay-in. Brett, 13 points, 10 boards. Falcons with the momentum. Kenzie Lewis drives and scores part of an 11-0 run. The Falcons reclaim the lead. Then late in the third, loose ball. Lexi Fleming going for it, collides with the Eastern player and the Falcons leading scorer in obvious pain, clutching her shoulder. She would be helped off the floor, would not return to the game. The MAC freshman of the year was on the sideline in the fourth with an ice bag on her shoulder. No word yet on the severity of the injury. We will, of course, keep you posted in the fourth. Falcons pull away. Madison Parker with the triple. Falcons up seven at that point. They go on to get the 63-47 victory. Lewis, 14 points, 11 boards as BG is moving on. BCSN's Mark Koontz reports from Cleveland for us this week. And tonight, he breaks down the young Falcon team who responded in a big way in the second half by sticking to Falcon basketball. Down 10 at halftime, it did not look like the Bowling Green women would be able to survive and advance in the first round of the MAC tournament. But the second half, they came back, fueled in part by a 25 to 6 run as they were able to control defense and free throw shooting. Two things you can always control in a basketball game as they went an impressive 20 of 22 from the free throw line in the second half. I mean, when you look at the game of basketball, typically, um, you know, great teams do simple things well. They make free throws, they make layups, they make open shots. Um, so that, that's really important, you know, to be able to uh, be on the right side of the scoreboard. Being a good free throw shooting is a big part of that. And we have done that all year. We've been a good free throw shooting team. And so I was really proud of our kids in that second half for, for stepping up. And um, we really closed the gap at the free throw line. And then we were actually able to extend to get a lead there. So um, that was that was good for us. I think that our success in the second half came mostly from our defense. Um, our defensive effort and just our effort all around. I think defense turns into really good offense and we were able to get going um, and get comfortable. And I think the defensive end was a really big part of that. I'm so proud of that. That's something you can control all the time um, is your ability to guard, to move together, to stay together, to keep them to one shot. I thought we did a good job of keeping the defending without fouling. Um, our, our defense in the second half was outstanding. And um, I give our kids a lot of credit because we ask them to play really hard with the way we want to guard. Um, and they continued to do that. The main message during halftime was that we need to get back to playing BG basketball. Um, it's what has brought us all of our success this year. Um, and so we just needed to get back to that. And we needed to take a few deep breaths and go out there and play the way that we knew we could. You know, I don't have a nerves barometer, but I, I think with the way we were playing, you could you could definitely see some of that. But um, this team has been really resilient all year. Um, they have shown a lot of fight all year. So that's something that I always trust in the game, even if we're not playing at our best or, or, or playing optimally. Um, the, our toughness and our fight and our resilience are things that I have seen day in and day out. So. Um, kind of regrouped at halftime, and I think we saw a much better version of Bowling Green women's basketball in the second half. BG back at it Friday morning when they'll take on Buffalo as the Bulls knocked off Kent State today. Buffalo beating Bowling Green in both of the regular season meetings, including an overtime win at the Stroh Center to wrap up the regular season. Tomorrow morning, the men's tournament gets underway with Toledo tipping off at 11 a.m. against Ball State. Now today, the Mid-American Conference naming their all-league in awards, and to no surprise, the Toledo Rockets dominating those awards. Marion Jackson, your player of the year, as a senior guard averaged over 17 points, six assists, six rebounds a game. Twice this season, he had a triple-double. Todd Kowalczyk, your MAC coach of the year, leading the Rockets to their first outright MAC title since 2007. The 15 MAC wins are a program record, and Ryan Rollins named the freshman of the year for the Mid American Conference. He led all freshmen with over 13 points a game. Bowling Green getting into the awards as well as Trey Diggs named the sixth man of the year. As for the all conference teams, to no surprise, Marion Jackson, first team all league, along with Bowling Green's Justin Turner. 
On the second team, Rockets guard Spencer Littleson, who also made the all-defensive team. Daquan Plowden from Bowling Green, third team All-Mac. And on the all-freshman team, the freshman of the year, Ryan Rollins, joined by a pair of Falcons, Josiah Fulcher and Caden Matheny. As for UT, they get Ball State on Thursday morning. They split the regular season series with the Cardinals, losing in Muncie and blowing out Ball State to wrap up the regular season. It's a fine line in our league, and, and one through eight can win this league. I, you know, We've been the most consistent team. There's no question about that. Uh, but there's some really, really good teams, uh, and Ball State is a really good team. I'm going to watch film on when we did lose, what we did wrong. We're going to watch this film. Although we won, you know, we made mistakes. And we're going to go back, you know, find what mistakes we made. And three, three games. That's three games. You got to play your best ball. That's going to do it for us tonight at the MAC tournament. Much more coverage coming up tomorrow with those two men's games. And, of course, now on Friday, Bowling Green women will be back. And we'll find out tomorrow if the Rocket and the Falcon men's team will follow suit. In Cleveland, Mark Coots, BCSN.